All right, so we did something interesting with GPT-4 at CodeDam, and in this video, I want to show you step by step what we have done, how this works, and how you can leverage this technology to become even a better developer and use even CodeDam to do that. As you all know, GPT-4 is a model by OpenAI, which I have discussed in my previous videos as well, which is very smart compared to your beginner to intermediate, even mentors and TAs. And one of the things which we thought about, one of the ways CodeDam is built, that you learn by doing you learn by practicing you just not watch videos or read articles that's not it but you can also boot these playgrounds you can start these labs these exercises which help you actually implement whatever you are learning last week we launched something known as code damn problems which is pretty much our initiative of saying that okay if you want to learn programming why not actually solve by learning real world problems real world basic questions instead of you know just grinding your head on lead code or hacker rank or just the problems which are only DSA and competitive coding focused. So the way we did it is if you go to codedam.com slash problems, you can see that there are a bunch of problems right now in specifically just in HTML and CSS and JavaScript because this is pretty much all we are targeting right now. We aim to expand this to React Node.js, you know, SQL as well. A lot of things are there, but we are starting off with JavaScript and HTML and CSS. What is an interesting fact over here, which I want to discuss where GPT-4 comes in, is that these problems are actually built by GPT-4 for the most part. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at this document structure lab, which is an easy lab. So if I start this lab, you're going to see that you have a bunch of instructions and you have a bunch of challenges to solve, right? So at CodeDAM, we have an IDE inside this browser, as you can see, where you can practice and you can also have certain challenges which you have to solve. What we did is we taught GPT how CodeDAM labs work. That's the most important part. Like, how do you teach an AI, which is, of course, like not trained on CodeDAM's infrastructure or, you know, even do, though we have teach.codedam.com as documentation resource, it doesn't know that, right? Because it's training got off in 2021. But we were able to train it on CodeDAM's infrastructure so it understands like what is a CodeDAM lab, what are these challenges, what is a solution, how do you build instructions and what sort of concepts are important in programming in general. So let's try to solve this lab from scratch. So if you go to challenges, you have created document structure with header, main and footer tag using appropriate HTML5 tags. So you see that it also gives you a hint. So let's start with header, of course, main and then footer as well. Add a paragraph with the content, welcome to the document structure lab inside main. So let's do that. Another small copyright notice inside the footer. So I can also have a paragraph tag here and say, copy, go down 2022, something like this, right? Very relatively, very simple lab. But if I run this now, so let's take a look at a few hints which it gave us. So the first one is document structure lab needs to go inside header as an H1 tag. So there we go. Then we have a paragraph with content already inside the main section inside of P tag and a small copyright notice inside footer, which needs to be 2022 for now. So it should be exactly like this. So let's just copy paste this for now. So if you take a look at the system, Let's see what's the actual solution looking like. Okay, so we don't have a full stop yet in the solution, that's why it's crashing. But if I add a full stop and if I run this now, so you see the problem gets solved. Now, of course, you saw a bunch of obvious problems here. The first one, of course, is visible that it's very hard on the syntax itself, which should not be the case if you're learning to code. And you know, this sentence and this sentence are equivalent in a way, but still that's okay. I mean, if as long as it tells you exactly what you need to do. The second one, of course, is that these challenges and this information can be a lot more descriptive, right? So these are a few problems we are actively working on. Like how do we make these challenges and these descriptions a lot more descriptive and to the point so that there is no point of confusion or you don't have to take a look at these hints in order to solve these problems. But the first step you see, this whole thing was completely generated by an AI with us being, you know, in some of the labs we assist, we change some description, we change some challenges and that's it. 
rest of the thing is done by the AI. Now this lab is a very simple lab, but what we can do once we have understood this is because AI understands complex parts of programming languages as well. Like, you know, in Node.js, it understands what closures are and, you know, what properties are, what the prototypal inheritance chain is. In React, it understands the use effect dependency hook and so on. And especially this model GPT-4, not even GPT-3, but GPT-4 is a game changer in this field. So what it can do currently it, it can help you become a better developer itself even though it itself is not the best replacement for a developer yet why because of small token windows because of limited knowledge because of you know all the all the defects these ai have in terms of their minimal context window again something i discussed in one of the videos i, I did earlier so what we are currently doing is helping or training these systems these ai systems to create more such content more such problem for you for you guys on codam because now you if you go to on code dam and if you take a look at front end interview questions you're gonna find a list of these questions which are you know medium to hard questions which likely would be asked to you if you're sitting for a front end interview for a startup or for any any sort of medium to large size company which is asking questions not on dsa but actually on web development and data science and you know even mlai once we get courses and content for that but this gives a very nice learning experience to you as well as gives us the opportunity to hook gpt4 with the ide in the browser and create labs and these challenges which you guys can use to get better at so right now all of these questions all of these problems are in beta access mode that means it is completely free for everyone to try so you can go to codedam.com problems if you have an account just use that if you don't have an account you can create a free one and you can start trying out these free problems right we are also working on a couple of more gamification features so today's top solvers this is not exactly properly launched yet but as we create more and more problems you're gonna see that the quality of the questions improves we would have so many more things in progress about voting questions about having a community inside questions so you can discuss with other people hopefully not ais that uh why is the answer what it is the answer is the, is there an answer that could be a different one and again the motive of this is to actually replace the lead code and hacker ranks of your life with something real world and more applicable of course data structures and algorithms and you know hardcore cs is any way like required you still need to know about data structures otherwise you can't do like json parsing of objects and arrays and so on but what you probably don't need for a front-end interview is traversing a graph or you know inverting a binary tree because those sort of things you better spend time on understanding why use effect hook fires twice in react 18 what is the mindset behind that compared to you know why you have to reverse a binary tree if you are applying for a front-end application which needs a react developer so that's the motive here again this is of course combined with courses so if you at any point you feel like you want to learn new courses you want to learn new things you can take a full stack learning path you can also build projects alongside it which are in a way like problems but problems are usually like 10 to 20 to 30 minutes max but projects are more long term like you can build these projects over the span of a few days so try it out give us feedback on what we can improve and what you like what you don't like about this solve a bunch of problems and you will have some fun doing all of these so that is all for this video hopefully you liked what the work we are doing at codedam and we are very serious about ai and the ai integration to help you learn better it will drive down cost these problems are probably much better than if you pay hundreds of thousands of rupees or thousands of dollars for a personal mentor to give you some problems these are much better much curated and tested problems by ai so try to solve them try to understand the concepts behind them and you will be a good developer in no time that is all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching